In my opinion, if you're fishing from a kayak, canoe, pond prowler, or any other tiny boat, and you're only accessing waterways with typical boat ramps and public access points, you're simply doing it wrong. However, if you'll follow along in today's video, I'll show you a neat little DIY project that will have you retrieving your vessel from sketchy banks like this, and this easier than you ever would have imagined possible. Let's do this. All right, everybody, I'm gonna to try to run through this process as quickly as possible because I don't really wanna be in the shop right now. I wanna be out on the water doing some fishing. The first step is gonna be to open up this box and remove the stock cabling that comes on this winch because it's only like 35, 32 feet, something like that, and that's not near enough. A lot of the banks that I slide my boat down are at least twice that, and I don't wanna be limited by the length of this stock cable. There's plenty of room on the winch for more. That's why I picked up the 100-foot cable. This will really open up my options on where I can uh, drop and retrieve my canoe or kayak. All right, folks, check it out. There is a lot of extra room on this winch to put more cable. Not only that, but the cable that's on here is far thicker than what I really need to do the job that I really want to do. And this cable, the 100 foot cable, it's a lot smaller, so it's going to take up a lot less space. I could probably put more than 100 feet on here, but we're going to find out. So let's get this off here. Okay, next up, I wanna reuse and therefore remove uh, this hook that came on the stock cable. I'm gonna do that by cutting this cable right in front of this uh, little crimp connection here. To attach this new cable to the stock hook, I'm actually gonna use some of these screw-on type cable clamps because I don't have any of the crimp-on style clamps that, that came on the stock cable. So that's what I'm gonna do. No matter what the material is that you're working with, when you're trying to uncoil something like this, if you've already got it bound together, in this case with zip ties, it's a good idea to not get too carried away and just go cutting these off or you're gonna end up with a tangled mess. Uh, one way I like to do it is just to back out the outside part of the coil a little bit at a time to give me just enough to work with. So that's gonna be enough to work with in order to attach this. And then we're gonna start getting this winch ready to receive this new cable. All right, so I've got this hook properly attached to the new cable. However, it's not time to put this cable on this winch just yet because decisions have to be made and possibly some welding has to be done, so there's no reason to have this in the way. I suspect that some of you are probably throwing your canoe or kayak on the roof of a car. Some of you are throwing it in the back of a bed of a truck, maybe putting it on a trailer, whatever the case may be. In my case, I actually use one of these uh, little hitch buddies or a hitch hauler or whatever you might call it, but this goes into the hitch of my truck this is something that I just built here in the shop, but you can buy these at a variety of hardware stores. Um, they're useful for more than just hauling your boat. I mean, you can you can haul long lumber on them and things like that, but this one I made at home, and I'm actually going to attach this to this. Now, I'm not going to do it sideways, and, and, and I'm not going to weld it to it. I want it to be easily removable so that I can still use this for other things. And while I could, you know, go all out and make something really nice and custom fit for this, uh, I'm in a hurry today because I want to go fishing today, not tomorrow. So here's what I've come up with. I'm just going to take my welder and stick this to this after cutting it down. Slide it over it like that. That way, this can just be in the back seat of the truck. And when I get done fishing for the day, I just grab the whole thing, slide it on there, and deploy the winch and do work. I believe that'll do just fine. But those of you out there who don't have a welder, never fear. Most of these are designed to be bolted on anyway. In fact, probably all of these winches are designed to be bolted on. So if you're using, let's just say like a cargo trailer to haul your little boat, no problem. You can mount this thing to the railing. If you want to, to get a spare uh, hitch for your truck and, and, and bolt it to that or weld it to that, there's lots of different ways you could mount one of these. Okay, this next step is somewhat critical in taking this project kind of like up a few notches to that next level because this is what takes this manual winch and turns it into a power winch really quickly, conveniently, and, and just makes life easy. We're going to power it off this. To do that, you're going to need some sort of a, a socket adapter for your drill, and you're going to need a nut. Just dig through your old parts bin 
and you're going to want to find a nut that you can plug weld on the end of this on the end of this shaft. If you don't have a welder, there are still ways that you could do that. You could go ahead and screw this handle on here, and you could you could seize this nut onto here, whether it be with Loctite or by damaging the threads or, or double nutting it, uh, and then you know make a socket work for that. But I want to be able to use this thing manually or with a drill. So I'm going to plug weld a nut onto this side of this winch. Let's do that and I'll show you how it works. There you go folks. There's only two things left to do. I've got to wind the cable up onto the winch and of course at some point I need to paint it. But that doesn't have to be today because it's time to go to the water. I'll see you out there. I love it when that happens. Okay, folks, it's the moment of truth. Did I waste 30 bucks in three hours on my tiny boat removal device? Or is it a nifty little gadget? Well, as you can see, I've pulled the, the canoe up on the bank. I'm winded from carrying my tackle and the motor up that. I'm sure video doesn't do it justice, but it's very steep. It's about, I'm going to say, 50 feet from the truck right now. We're going to see if it works. Fingers crossed. Alright, as you can see, it's right at the apex of the hill here. I would assume that that's probably the most difficult, uh, the most high load situation. And it appears my little $79 drill did not have enough caboose for the project. Let's see. Let's give it another shot here. Woo! I mean, I don't really know what else I could possibly say about that, except I thought that was awesome. I mean, we all get harebrained ideas from time to time, and some of them work and some of them don't. But this one, that little thing, I would call a success. That's really steep. It made it up. I think it'll get this canoe out of just about everything I choose to put it in. So yeah, that was a success. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up below your screen. If you like this kind of content, or fishing content in general, in particular catfishing content, you might want to subscribe and hit the notification bell because this is Catfish Karma. See you in the next one.